Hi guys, I'm here today with my October favourites and fails. It's been a long while since I've done one of these, um, so I thought it's about time that I showed you some of the products I love and some of the ones that suck. So here it is. for you is this Twisted Sister Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, it is um, completely empty because it is really brilliant. I tend to alternate between using uh, Tresemme uh, Shampoo and Conditioner and Twisted Sister. Um, I was once told it's not good to continuously use the same shampoo and conditioner um, just on and on and on and on for years because um, it leads to build up of things in the hair and then eventually the hair will stop looking great so um, maybe every three months or so I'll switch over to a different product and this uh, month it's been Twisted Sister. Um, this works really great on my hair, it does reduce the frizz, um, the only problem is I do go through rather a lot of it because it's it's not in a bottle it's in a jar so you're just taking a big scoop of it and smushing it all over your hair so I do tend to use a lot more of this than I do of uh, the Tresemme conditioner um, I think this is about $2.99 and I'll try and put a link uh, below I think you can buy it in Boots and Superdrug um, and various other places oh I've also seen it in a few supermarkets as well um, but yeah I definitely recommend Twisted Sister if you have curly frizzy hair uh, the next product, um, I've done a video on this, is the Frizzies 3 Day Straight. I've completely used this bottle up. Um, I, this is quite expensive, so when I see it on special offer, I will buy um, another bottle, um, even if I'm only halfway through the first one, because it is quite pricey. But it does last for a very long time. This bottle lasted me at least six months maybe even nine months. Um, it just takes a couple of sprays, uh, maybe four or five sprays, because I have quite a lot of hair. Um, like once a week is when I do a uh, heat treatment on my hair and it works brilliantly and my hair has been much less damaged since I started using this. Uh, my next one is this Nivea Invisible Deodorant. It's the deodorant stick, which um, I much prefer to roll on because uh, you don't have to wait for it to dry. Um, I don't normally use Nivea, I normally use Dove, but um, I gave this one a try because it was on special offer and I really liked it. Um, it didn't leave any um, marks on my clothes, so it did exactly what it said um, and it worked really great. Um, this one is supposed to be 48 hour active, but like seriously, who's not going to wash for 48 hours, I suppose, if you're camping or something? But um, it, it, it worked well for the, you know, 12 or 48 hours between my showers. So um, this was a really great one. Um, I'd recommend Nivea Invisible Antiperspirant. Uh, another one which I finished this month is my Time Delay Night Cream. Um, I've also done a video on the Boots Time Delay um, moisturising and cleansing range um, which I um, always use, I love this stuff, um, it's great, um, I tend to use a lot more of the day cream than the night cream because quite often I forget to put on the night cream or I just can't be bothered, um, but um, it's it, it's great, it's really rich um, and nourishing and especially if, if I'm going through a period of dry skin then this works wonders and I really love it. Um, again, this can be quite pricey so whenever it's on special offer at Boots um, there's usually either a um, buy two get one free or um, buy one get one half price offer and I always stock up. So yeah, that's Boots Time Delay Night Cream which I love. My next one is also Boots Time Delay. This is the eye cream. Um, this just goes on and on and on and lasts forever. Um, I've had this probably about a year. It's just brilliant and you need such a tiny amount. It goes so, such a long way. Um, it, I, I really only use one tube a year. Um, and I was <laughs> waiting for this to finish and you know when you sort of squish it down and bend it in fact there's still probably some in here I could probably get another application out of it and you squish it and you fold it and you're squeezing all of it out and I've been doing that for about a month and it's still been plenty um, to do both my eyes 
um, it's a really great um, nourishing moisturizing eye cream and I really love it and I wear it under makeup and I put it on at night and um, it really does the trick. My next product is this sun cream which I got from Asda. Uh, it is um, 30 SPF. I always go for um, at the very minimum of 15. Um, I usually go for a 30. Um, even though um, I do have brown skin I always use um, sun cream. Um, I always make sure my daily moisturizer has a sunscreen in it um, because you know you can never be too careful the, the sun does age you and it's just best to be protected at all times even on you know um, a, a, a wintry English uh, <laughs> English day there is still sun around there is still uh, UV and UVB rays bombarding your skin um, so I just buy your regular old um, sun cream, the cheapy stuff from the supermarket. There have been loads of tests and comparisons which show that all the expensive stuff is no better than the cheap stuff and in fact in some cases the, the more expensive stuff was worse than the cheap stuff. Um, they tested a whole range of these and um, they found that you know, some of the factor 15 were actually factor 30, some of the factor 30 were actually only factor 20. So to be on the safe side, go for a higher um, range and I always use it. <laughs> in the summer, I'll just use sunscreen, in, sunscreen instead of body lotion. But in the winter, what I do is I mix my body lotion and my body lotion <laughs> and my sunscreen together. So if I've got half a body lotion left and half a sunscreen, I will just put them all together. Um, this one is great. This is Boots Mango Whip. Um, I think I did. I think I did this in my monthly favourites um, back in the beginning of the year because it is absolutely fantastic and it has a really strong, beautiful mango scent. So when you dilute it with the sunscreen, you still get a beautiful mango scent. Um, it's not as strong as before, but um, it it's still there and it smells absolutely gorgeous so you're not throwing away half a bottle of sunscreen because it's winter that's just uneconomical um, so I always recommend mixing your leftover sunscreen with your body lotion then your body lotion it's winter so you don't need such a high sun protection level so um, it's fine to mix it in but you're still getting that sun protection your um, uh, you're <laughs> you're getting the maximum um, uh, what do you call it cost benefit ratio that's that's wrong that, that's a business term you're um, yeah you know what I mean you're you're not wasting anything um, and um, a little bit goes a long way and you know every penny counts so <laughs> that's what I do to um, get the most value for money that's the term I was looking for the most value for money out of all these expensive body lotions and creams and sunscreens um, so I'll mix it in and then I'll use this throughout the winter and it works great and I don't have to worry about skin cancer um, and what else do I have to show you I have to show you Oh, I have to show you this, which I just found at Wilco, which is the dry shampoo. I've been using dry shampoo for a while. Um, you know, um, when you're in between shampoos, but um, in between washing your hair, but your hair's a bit greasy or grubby and you don't, you just don't have time to wash it. Dry shampoo is brilliant. Um, you just spray it on, work it through your hair, leave it for 10 minutes, then brush it out and your hair is much cleaner than it was before. It's not the same as shampooing, obviously, but it will do in a crisis. Um, normally, um, you know, um, uh, dry shampoo comes in a much smaller bottle um, aerosol and um, it doesn't last very long. It maybe lasts one or two applications, but this, this is huge and also it's much fuller it it weighs a lot more so you can tell there's much more product in here than the regular dry shampoo the branded one so this is going to last for ages and ages and ages and it's super economical I, it was i think maybe two two pounds something like that all, all i know is it was a massive bargain which was why i picked it up and i just um leave this around for emergencies and it's absolutely brilliant and I think that's it yeah that's it <laughs> that's all for my October favorites and fails 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you um, got to see some products which you didn't know and um, hopefully like. I'll put links to them all in the description box below. Um, please do um, leave me a comment if you've got anything to say about any of the products that I featured or you just want to say hi and um, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye!